As per the Amazon seller report 2024, 35% of small to medium-sized Amazon sellers start making a profit within six months. On the other hand, 77% of enterprise brands and retailers see profits in just three months. To reach these profit levels and succeed on Amazon, it's crucial for businesses to regularly track their performance. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp, and today I'll talk about some key Amazon metrics that every seller should monitor to boost sales and keep customers happy. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. So before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Now, Amazon metrics are essential for sellers to track their performance or spot areas for improvement and make informed decisions to optimize their business on Amazon. These metrics offer valuable insights into different parts of an Amazon seller's business, such as advertising effectiveness, metrics like total advertising cost of sales, return on ad spend, and advertising cost of sales help sellers uh, evaluate the success of their ad campaigns, fine-tune keyword targeting and bids, and get the most out of their ad spend. Second is sales and profitability. Metrics like conversion rate, sales velocity, and total sales allow sellers to gauge their overall sales performance, identify which products are most profitable, and assess the impact of their marketing efforts. Third is inventory management. Metrics like inventory turnover, stockout rate, and late shipment rate give sellers insights into how well they manage inventory, ensure they have enough stock to meet customer demand, and reduce stockouts and returns. Fourth is account health. Amazon's account health metrics include the overall health rating and individual performance indicators show how well a seller is complying with Amazon's policies. These metrics influence a seller's ability to continue selling on the platform and access valuable tools. Fifth is return rate. Metrics like return rate, return authorization request rate, and uh, return reason analysis give sellers insights into product quality, customer satisfaction, and fulfillment practices. These metrics help sellers pinpoint and fix issues that leads to returns. Sixth is customer satisfaction. Uh, metrics such as product reviews, customer service response time, and order defect rate help sellers measure customer satisfaction, find areas for improvement, and maintain a strong seller reputation. By tracking and analyzing these Amazon metrics, sellers can gain a clear understanding of their business performance, spot trends, and make informed decisions to boost sales, profitability, customer satisfaction, and overall success on Amazon. Now that you're familiar with different Amazon metrics, let's dive deeper into some key ones. First is advertising metrics. Now here are the key metrics you should monitor as an Amazon seller. First is click-through rate. Now CTR is a percentage of people who click on your ad after seeing it. It's calculated by dividing the number of clicks by the number of impressions. CTR measures how effective your ad is at capturing attention. A higher CTR means your ad is relevant and engaging to your audience. For example, if your ad has 5,000 impressions and 150 clicks, your CTR would be 3%. This means 3% of the people who saw your ad clicked on it. Next is cost per click. Now, CPC represents the average amount you pay for each click on your Amazon ad. It's calculated by dividing your total advertising costs by the number of clicks. CPC helps you understand the uh, efficiency of your ad spend. A lower CPC means you are getting more clicks for your money. 
For instance, if you spend $80 on Amazon advertising and receive 160 clicks, your CPC would be $0.5. This means you are paying $0.5 for each click on your ad. Third is conversion rate. Now CVR is uh, the percentage of people who click on your ad and then make a purchase. It's calculated by dividing the number of conversions by the number of clicks. CVR means how effective your Amazon ad is at driving sales. A higher CVR means your ad is successfully turning clicks into purchases. For example, if your ad gets 5,000 clicks and results in 150 purchases, your CVR would be 3%. This means 3% of the people who clicked on your ad ended up making a purchase. Fourth is advertising cost of sales. ACoS is an important metric that shows how profitable your Amazon advertising campaigns are. It compares the money spent on advertising to the revenue generated from those ads. A lower ACoS means uh, your campaigns are efficient and bring in more revenue for each dollar spent. For instance, if you spend $200 on Amazon ads and generate $1,000 in sales, your ACoS would be 20%. This means that for every dollar you spend on advertising, you are making $5 in sales. Fifth is total advertising cost of sales, that is tacos, uh, is a broader measure of your advertising costs than uh, ACoS, it calculates ad spending relative to total revenue, both organic and PPC. Tacos gives you a better view of your overall ad performance and business profitability. For example, if you spend $800 on Amazon ads each month and generate $8,000 in total revenue, your tacos would be 10%. Sixth is return on advertising spend. ROAS is the key metric for evaluating how effective your advertising campaign is. It compares the sales revenue generated from ads to the amount spent on those ads. ROAS is the inverse of ACoS. A higher ROAS means you are generating more sales for every dollar you invest in advertising. For instance, if you spend $150 on Amazon ads and generate $750 in sales, your ROAS would be 5. Next is sales metrics. Now here are the key sales metrics you should focus on. First is total sales. It represents the gross revenue from all the sales on Amazon. This includes every order regardless of any discounts, returns or refunds. Second is net sales. Uh, these are the total sales amount after subtracting returns, discounts and allowances. This gives you a clearer picture of your actual revenue and profitability after accounting for adjustments. Next is average order value. Uh, this is the average amount uh, customers spend each time they make a purchase. It's calculated by dividing the total revenue by the total number of orders in a specific period. Now, average order value is a crucial metric in e-commerce because it reveals customer spending habits. A higher average order value indicates that your business is successfully encouraging customers to buy more expensive items or engage in cross-selling. Next is repeat purchase rate. Uh, the repeat purchase rate uh, measures the percentage of customers who buy from a business more than once. It's calculated by dividing the number of repeat customers by the total number of customers and then multiplying by 100 to get a percentage. This metric shows how many of your customers are coming back to make additional purchases, reflecting customer loyalty and satisfaction. Fifth is buy box percentage. The buy box percentage shows how often a seller's product appears in the buy box on Amazon product pages. This prominent position is crucial because it lets customers add items to their cart with a single click. A higher buy box percentage is a key goal for Amazon sellers since it leads to more sales and increased revenue. Now, next kind of metrics is inventory metrics. Uh, here are some key inventory metrics to focus on. First is inventory turnover ratio. The ratio is important for uh, you know Amazon sellers as it helps you manage stock levels and ensure for fast sales. It measures how many times your inventory is sold and replaced within a specific period, usually a year. An ideal inventory turnover ratio for Amazon sellers is between 5 and 10. For example, if your cost of goods sold uh, is 
$100,000 and your average inventory value is $20,000, your inventory turnover ratio would be 5. This means your inventory is sold and replaced 5 times a year. Next is Inventory Performance Index. The uh, index is a metric um, Amazon uses to assess how well sellers manage their inventory. The IPI ranges from 0 to 1000 with a higher score, indicating better inventory management and efficiency. It takes into account factors such as excess inventory, stranded inventory, sell-through rate, and in-stock rate. Here is an explanation of each factor. First is excess inventory. A product is considered excess if it has more than 90 days of supply based on expected demand. Having too much excess inventory with low sales can hurt your FBA sell-through rate and suggest poor inventory management. Second is stranded inventory. Now this refers to items that aren't selling well and are taking up valuable storage space. After that we have sell-through rate. This metric shows how quickly your inventory sells. It's calculated by dividing the number of units sold in the past 90 days by the average number of units held at FBA during that time. Next is in stock rate. This measures how often your replenishable uh, FBA products are in stock over the last 30 days based on the number of units uh, sold in the last 60 days. Keeping products in stock helps maximize sales. These factors are used to calculate the Inventory Performance Index score, which shows how efficiently you manage your FBA inventory. Third is Stockout Rate. This metric tracks how often you've run out of stock for a product. A high stockout rate means you are struggling to keep up with demand, which can lead to lost sales and unhappy customers. A low stockout rate might indicate excess inventory. Fourth is FBA Storage Fees. Now these are the charges uh, Amazon applies for keeping your products in their fulfillment centers. These fees uh, depend on the size and weight of your products and how long they are stored. Good inventory management can help reduce these fees by keeping the right amount of inventory on hand. Next is account health metrics. Amazon account health metrics help you monitor your account's performance on Amazon Seller Central. Here's an overview of key metrics that uh, affect your account health. First is order defect rate. ODR measures how well you are providing a good customer experience. It shows the percentage of orders with issues over a 60 day period. There are three parts to ODR. First is negative feedback rate, A to Z guarantee claim rate, and credit card chargeback rate. Amazon requires an ODR of less than 1% to stay in good standing. If your ODR is over 1%, you might face selling restrictions or a suspension of your orders. And the formula goes as defected orders divided by total orders received into 100. For example, if you have 100 orders and 5 are defective, your ODR would be 5%, indicating 5% of your orders have issues. Second is late shipment rate. LSR measures how often you ship orders late. It's the percentage of orders shipped after the expected date, and it only applies to seller fulfilled orders. Amazon requires LSR to be 4% or lower. Exceeding this rate should uh, put your account at risk of deactivation. This rate is calculated over 10 day and 30 day periods for seller fulfilled orders. Third is cancellation rate. Now this rate shows the percentage of orders cancelled by sellers within a 7 day period. It includes both manually cancelled orders and those cancelled by Amazon if you didn't confirm uh, the shipment. Customer initiated cancellations don't count against you. Uh, Amazon requires a cancellation rate of less than 2.5%. Exceeding this rate could be uh, you know, leading to the deactivation of your seller fulfilled orders. Fourth is on-time delivery rate. The on-time delivery rate uh, shows the percentage of orders delivered by the promised date. This rate is based on uh, packages with confirmed tracking information. Amazon suggests keeping your on-time delivery rate above 97% to ensure a good customer experience. Not meeting this target could lead to negative feedback or claims which may affect your account status. Fifth is invoice defect rate. Uh, this defect rate um, you know, measures the percentage of orders where a valid invoice wasn't provided to Amazon business customers. 
you need to keep your IDR below 5% to avoid account deactivation. Since Amazon business customers need invoices for tax and accounting purposes, it's important to provide them quickly and correctly. Failure to do so can lead to customer dissatisfaction and potential suspension of your account. Next is return rate metrics. Now, tracking return rates is crucial as they can uh, you know, significantly affect your business. Amazon sellers should aim to keep return rates low. Here are the key return rate metrics to monitor. First is late response rate. This metric measures how quickly you respond to customer requests. You must reply to all the customer inquiries and return requests within 48 hours. Second is negative return feedback rate. This rate shows the percentage of return requests that receive negative feedback rate uh, from you know, the customers. Amazon expects you to resolve return issues effectively. High negative feedback can harm your reputation and make it harder to attract uh, the new customers. After that, we have is customer metrics. These are crucial for Amazon sellers to understand customer behavior, satisfaction, and loyalty. Tracking these metrics helps sellers improve their business performance by making informed decisions. Here are five key customer metrics to focus on. First is customer acquisition cost. Now, CAC measures how much it costs on average to gain a new customer. It's calculated by dividing the total marketing and sales costs by the number of new customers acquired in a specific period. For example, if a company spends $200,000 on marketing and gains 4,000 new customers, their CAC is $50. This means they spend $50 to acquire each new customer. A low CAC means you are attracting new customers efficiently, which boosts profitability. A high CAC suggests you are spending too much on acquiring customers, which can lower your profit margins. Second is customer retention rate. CRR shows uh, the percentage of existing customers who keep buying from you over a period. It's calculated by comparing the number of uh, customers at the start of a period to the number uh, remaining after accounting for new customers. A high CRR indicates strong customer relationships and successful repeat business. Third is customer lifetime value. Uh, CLV measures the total revenue uh, you can expect from a customer over their lifetime. Increasing CLV is the key to long-term profitability as it shows the value of retaining customers and maximizing their spending over time. Understanding CLV helps you spot challenges and opportunities for growth. Fourth is product review rating. Now, product review rating is the average score your products receive from customers. High ratings can increase your product's visibility and sales, with, uh, whereas low ratings uh, might drive potential buyers away. To keep your ratings high, focus on delivering quality products and ensuring customer satisfaction. Fifth is uh, negative feedback rate. Now, negative feedback given as one or two stars uh, shows the percentage of orders that receive poor reviews. A high negative feedback rate means you might need to address some issues with your products or services. Handling negative feedback effectively, quickly and professionally is essential to protect your reputation and build trust with customers. You can track these metrics directly on Amazon Seller Central, uh, but tools like SellerApp also offer advanced data visualization and custom reports to help you make better business decisions. To succeed on Amazon regularly, uh, check your store's performance. Uh, monitoring these metrics help you spot and fix issues that could affect customer satisfaction. At SellerApp, we help you understand and act on your Amazon metrics to improve your business. If you have any queries, our team of experts will assist you. Feel free to contact us at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling.